All right, in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about standardizing the process. Um, guys, I've been trying to trade two accounts at once, my TradeStation account and my Top Step 150K Express Funded account, and it's not working. Um, I cannot trade two accounts at once, especially not with these difficult market conditions. Uh, so I have to focus on my Top Step 150K account because, I mean, it's free, basically. There's, uh, there's only one way that this account can go now. I mean, I either lose it or uh, I make money from it over time. So I'm basically just gonna focus on, cause it's free. I don't have a billing cycle anymore cause I passed it obviously. Um, guys, in this video, I've got to encourage you to, um, you've got to kind of standardize the process um, where your stop losses go, uh, you know, what, what patterns you're using, the, the drawings that you're using. I know at this point, for example, I know that, that my stop loss is going to go above an order block mean threshold, above the consequent encroachment of a wick or a fair value gap stop. I know that I like to use a lot of drawings. I know that I like to use regular trading hours during the regular trading hours. I know that my standard lot size is three contracts, right? And I know that I'm aiming for liquidity and I know I like to draw out the macro times, etc., etc. right? I'm kind of standardizing the process as much as possible. And in this video, I just want to recommend to you, you got to try and standardize the process, right? Trade one account, trade similar patterns all the time. If you like to use a lot, a lot of drawings like I do, use a lot of drawings. I use a lot of drawings. I feel comfortable. I feel more comfortable with like my drawings all over the chart. I just love to have the chart just cluttered with drawings. I know that is that is that maybe optimal? I don't know. But I personally, I like to have a lot of drawings on the chart. It makes me feel comfortable in my positions. But I know that I cannot trade two accounts at once. That has not worked. Eventually, I want to just trade my own money. I do not want to trade these funded accounts. Um, my sort of plan going into that is to use the Top Step account as long as I have it, get some payouts, and then fund my own trade station account and only trade that. I really have no intention of long-term trading Top Step. I want to trade my own account. But I can't do that right now. I just cannot do that. Uh, that's not going to work. So I have to trade Top Step right now. Uh, it is free. I don't have any billing cycles anymore, so there's really only one positive direction that it can go. Uh, with that being said, guys, you know, you try and standardize the process as much as you can. Um, that's my recommendation to you. It's not financial advice. It's just my recommendation to you as a day trader. Um, if you like to use a lot of drawings, use a lot of drawings. If you like to use the regular trading hours on the bottom right hand of the screen, use those. If you, uh, if you trade certain ICT patterns like fair value gaps and order blocks like I do, uh, make sure that you're trading those. You know, mark out your macro times. Mark out your, your I like to draw out the session times. You know, open, lunch, p.m., and New York Stock Exchange close. Uh, I also have uh, London AM session start, L London AM session end, which is 0200 and then 0530. Um, so anyways, guys, my recommendation to you is try and standardize the process as much as you can. Um, you know, you can you can sort of tailor your experience a little bit, you know, I, I wouldn't automate it, but, but trying to standardize it as much as you can. Bye-bye.